Hey everybody, welcome back to Wrenching with Grandpa. Having a little tomato juice, end of the day. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well and all your wrenching projects are going well. Hopefully mine are. Let me set this down for a minute. Got a little something that I want to talk to you all about this evening. This isn't going to be, we're not going to be wrenching on anything. Uh, I just want to talk to you a minute. Uh, just to give you a little precursor. The lift post and the trunk deck issue has all been resolved. We're all good there now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we're moving on. But one thing I've noticed a lot lately, particularly with if you're following any of the Facebook or YouTube stuff about car titles and transferring of ownership of vehicles from one person to another, all those things, it's gotten to be kind of a big deal. And I know for a lot of us who are doing restorations on old cars, maybe it's not that big a deal unless you're buying something from a salvage yard or an individual that you want to do as a project vehicle. And I have a lot of friends who buy Copart or other kind of auction site cars that you might run into an issue with. Well, I have a source who is willing to talk to us on a general term about some of the paperwork aspect. What most of us don't understand is, oh my God, there is a huge aspect of paperwork involved in transferring ownership of a vehicle from one person to another or from a person to an insurance company to an auction site, all of that. And we've all seen the stories of recent with, you know, major national companies who can't provide ownership documentation for cars that they're moving through their, you know, their business. So, I have a resource that can give us at least an overview of how the general process of this works in the aftermarket business. And if it's something that has an interest, we might be able to get a live stream or at least if you will comment with specific questions on registration, license title, transfers and things of that in our comment sections, we might be able to address some of that information and situations personally. Uh, I have people who are in the business and as part of trying to support what we're doing here, I want to give you a chance. If you have a question on registration, title, transfers, things of that nature, let me know in the comment section below and we'll see if we can't do something to address that and help all of our restoration, rebuild, buy, swap, whatever, you know, the community of aftermarket autos are. So, short little video this evening just to let you know, hey, like I said before, we're into a lot of different things and I want to give you a chance. If you've got a situation, let's see if we can address it or at least point you in the right direction to get there. So, let me know if this is something that you really have an interest in or you know anything in you have friends family other youtubers I don't care let us know because we're thinking about bringing some content about 
the paperwork of being in the auto aftermarket business to the channel. So, hope you're all having a great day. Grandpa's getting around. <coughs> Almost three weeks after major surgery, back at work. We got a lot to do on the girl. Getting ready to do a lot on the girl. God, I hope my checkbook doesn't burst into flames. Anyway, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing and please tell everybody about us. I mean, you know, we're the new kids on the block, but we'd love to have a whole bunch of folks involved. We'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching.